the more we know about Maya, personally I mean, the more advanced we get, the faster we work. So it's quite understandable that people who are behind us, like the beginners who are getting an interest in computer animation and this program, have the question, how do you learn all this? And the learning curve, I think, for a complex computer program such as Maya is very steep, but you can take it easy. And one question I got uh, recently was very simple. I created a cube. What can I do with it now? That's basically a very simple question, but it's an interesting question really. What can you do with that cube now? So first of all, I would suggest that when you you find the, the icon of the cube, you click on it and the cube lands here in the middle of the scene, you can press the key F that jumps close to that cube. And then, and that you have to internalize that, you can rotate around that object by pressing and holding the Alt key and the left mouse button. This is crucial. Move around your object all the time, as many times you can. With the Alt key and the right mouse button, you can zoom away. It's ba basically not a zoom, it's a camera motion, but it, it doesn't matter. And with the middle mouse button and the Alt key, you just um, move the camera up and down and left and right. So with a combination of these things, that's the left mouse button, that's the middle mouse button and that's the right mouse button all with the alt key you can already navigate around your cube now what can you do with that cube well there's a key called f8 when you have that cube selected it has the green lines here and you press f8 now uh, you see the components of the uh, of that cube and for example, you can just select one of them, that one in the back, for example. And now that one is selected. Rotate around that cube in order to make sure that only that is selected. Now um, you've learned about the navigation uh, modes here. Alt, left mouse, middle mouse, right mouse button. Now you learn about the WER, the three keys WER are right next to each other. When you press W, you get the translation icon, which means you move things up and down, left and right. And we can now move this thing up and down, like this. Rotate around your cube. Check it out. Do you like it? You can move the thing here. Is that good? Is that what you want? If you know what you want anyway, just play with it. The next um, thing you can do with this deformed cube now is select, for example, the two points up here. You can move them around like this. But you can also press the key E, which is next to the W on the keyboard. Press E, and then you have the rotation. So you can rotate the two points like this, or like this, or like this. And when you press the key R, which is next to the E on the keyboard, you get the scaling tool. That's the third major tool here for deforming things. And the scale tool makes things wider or thinner. Okay, so W for motion, for translation, E for rotation, and R for scaling. Now, when you press the key F8 again, you are back in object selection. That means you don't get the points anymore. You get the whole object. And the basic tools, which I just described, 
like the scaling, which is still active, now apply to the whole uh, object. Like this. It gets bigger and smaller. I just grab this middle yellow icon here. With this icon, the red one, I scale it only in the x-axis. That's the x. It's red in Maya. Like this, so it gets a very long cube now. Or a very wide cube. And when I rotate it, press the key E, you get the rotation tool, you can just rotate it like this. And with the key W, you just move it somewhere where you like it to be. And since it's a little bit close to us now, use the navigation, Alt Middle Mouse, and you're back here. If you lose control and don't find your object anymore, like uh, if it's somewhere there, press the key F and it's back in the center of the scene. So that's basically what you can do with a cube to start with. There are about 100 other things you can do with a cube, really complex ones, which are really fancy where you need maybe a little bit more resolution, which means you need more lines here, which uh, make the deformation of the cube more interesting but this is a very good start and you can try the same thing now with a cylinder if you like or with the cone have a good day